Hey there, welcome to the Oracle Cloud ERP channel. In this video, I'll give you a quick tour of Oracle Fusion's user interface. We will start by exploring various out of the box themes provided by Oracle. Then we will navigate to different sections of the home page, including global banner, application sections, things to finish, and analytics. Finally, I will demonstrate how to use the Oracle Guided Learning Tool. On a high level, these are the topics I'm going to cover today. You are listening to Siva Koya, an Oracle Ace and Certified Professional. Let's dive in without any further delay. Oracle Fusion Applications come with a bunch of pre-designed themes to give your app a unique look. You don't have to use a theme, but they really make a difference. Each theme has its own style and some even make it easier to find your way around. Let's take a look at a few themes to see what I mean. As you can see, I am on Oracle Fusion global login screen, where I can log into different Oracle Fusion applications. On my right hand side, I can see a drop down option. This is where I can select a theme provided by Oracle. There are several themes available. It is not required to select a theme. Oracle Fusion applications come with a default theme. Let's say I do not select any theme and click on ERP login hyperlink. As you can see here, my Oracle Fusion application is using the default theme. I hopped back to my global login screen to explore a couple more themes. This time, let's try an another theme, Crisp Green. I will select the theme, then click on ERP login hyperlink. This theme has really clean and simple look, which means you don't have to click around a lot to get to where you need to go. For example, if I want to access procurement application, I click here. And to get to contracts, I click here. The hamburger menu gives you a quick and easy way to access all your navigation links in a single view. Let's try a final theme. This time I will pick a bright blue color theme and log in into ERP application. As you can see, this theme is like the previous one but has a blue background. Now you know how to explore different themes. Go ahead and experiment and tell me which one you like the best in the comments below. When you log in into Oracle Fusion application, you will see a personalized home page showing everything that you can access. Home page is divided into multiple sections, starting with global banner, which is always visible. Then we have springboard with all the applications that you can access. Next, we have things to finish, then news and announcements, and finally analytics section. Now let's take a closer look at each section one by one. Let's talk about the global banner. It's always visible no matter where you are in the app. On the left hand side, you see hamburger menu, which opens navigator with links to all pages you can access. Click here to expand the view and see all the pages under each product along with their icons. Clicking on icon will take you directly to the page. I can collapse the view. Clicking away will hide my navigator. Then we have search option which lets you find people, pages or even roles. For example, if I want to search for procurement manager and click enter. As you can see in the results, the system highlighted people with the procurement manager role. Click on the settings icon to customize your search results. For example, you can hide recent searches from your search results by unchecking this flag and clicking OK. Then we have Home button. Clicking on it will take you to the home page wherever you are in the app. Let's try it out. I don't want to save my changes. Here we are on my home page. The favorites icon lets you bookmark your favorite pages. Let's say I want to bookmark receive items page. I am on receive items page. Then I need to click on favorites icon and click on add to favorites. Here I can host all my favorites in a specific folder or leave it on the outer level. 
I will leave it on the outer level. I will click save and close. Now if I click on my favorites icon, as you can see receive items is added here. I can click on this link wherever I am inside the app to access receive items page. You can manage your favorites by clicking on this link. If I click on it, I can delete favorites which I do not like. I can even reorder my favorites from here. I can also access recently visited transactions or pages by clicking on favorites and then selecting recent items. These are the specific transactions I accessed just a while ago on the page. You can access watch lists by clicking here. Watch lists are specific transactions or exceptions that you want to keep an eye on regular basis. For example, invoices on hold. As you can see here, there are 62 invoices on hold that might need your attention. Then we have notifications icon which shows all my workflow related notifications. From here I can approve or reject a specific transaction. Some of them might not need any action from my side. I can read the message and click on dismiss. Clicking on show all will show all my notifications. After reading the message, I can click on dismiss to remove the notification from my list. As you can see, the count reduced to one. Lastly, we have settings and actions icon. Clicking on it allows you to log out of the application, set user preferences. Under regional settings, you can update your date format, number format, currency, as well as your time zone. By clicking on these links, you can update your picture, you can update your password and your watch list. You can even update your application specific user preferences. Let's talk about the application section of the home page, also known as Springboard. Here you can see all the applications that you have access to. You can access any specific application using this left and right arrows on the application bar. For example, I will access procurement application. Under procurement application, you see the work area of procurement. Work area contains tiles related to different functional areas of procurement. Let me click on suppliers functional area. Once you are in the suppliers functional area, you will be greeted by the landing page, which is supplier overview page. This page provides a quick snapshot of the suppliers that need your attention. As you can see on my screen, you'll see data about suppliers that needs approval, supplier records that are expiring soon, or suppliers with incomplete setups. On the right hand side of the landing page, you will find the tasks icon. Clicking on this icon will reveal a list of various configuration tasks related to supplier records. There are two more icons on this page. One is to search for an existing supplier. You can click on this icon or to access recently visited supplier, you can click on this link. This is the general layout across all functional areas. Even though we just saw supplier functional area, similar layout exists for other functional areas. However, specific data displayed on the overview page might vary. Instead of tablet display, you might encounter visualizations or charts that offer a different perspective on the data. The second section on our homepage is things to finish section. This section displays a list of tasks that require your attention or completion. These tasks can come from various sources in Oracle Fusion, such as approvals, assignments, or pending actions. In my case here, you can see two tasks were assigned to me. One is FYI, just for my information. And the second one is a supplier change request that needs action from my side. To take a closer look at tasks, I will click on show more. Here we can filter the tasks assigned to me. From here, I can dismiss the notification that I have already seen or approve a specific transaction by navigating to this specific transaction or directly approve from this page. That's a little bit about things to finish section folks. News and announcements section speaks for itself. Here you will find information about company-wide updates, product releases and enhancements, important company-wide policy changes, and the list goes on. I will scroll all the way to the bottom to find the analytics section, which shows important data in visually appealing infolets. Within infolets, we can have clickable links. Infolets have three different views. This is the front view 
and this is the expanded view we can see more information in the expanded view we also have back view if i click on this link it will take me to the back view which shows different perspective of the data finally we can filter this infolets by clicking on this icon to hide and unhide the infolets that we want to view the last tool i'm going to talk today in oracle cloud is oracle guided learning we can access oracle guided learning by clicking on this help center icon think of oracle guided learning tool as a more sophisticated version of oracle docs it offers step by step instructions for configuring features and can be used by end users to get trained on new tools released by oracle once we are in oracle guided learning either we can search for a particular topic or straight away start with getting started in oracle cloud applications as you can see here the tool is helping us with a practical exercise on navigating oracle fusion applications all we need to do is follow the instructions i will click on the next button here in this step oracle is providing a video tutorial explaining the navigational features i will click on the next button here the tool is explaining me what is navigator and i have to practically click on the icon to see the navigator i will click on the hamburger menu now it is guiding me with the next step by now i hope you understood how this tool works that's it for today folks in the next episode i will show you how to implement general ledger from the scratch for a company if you found this video useful please give a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit i hope to see you in my next episode until then keep learning